fellow beer troopers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets, again, down in the bar in my basement. Um, yeah, the beer for today is going to be the last uh, beer in this, this mini-series of Swedish beer, and then I'm going to, well, I'm probably not going to post any review tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday, because of Skyrim. Um, and th then I have I have two already uh, recorded reviews I have to upload, but I'll probably wait and upload them until sometime next week because I want to play that game so bad. Um, but yeah, this is the last beer sent to me from Johan in the first beer mail. He actually sent me two. I'm gonna just show you guys what I got. Um, he actually sent me as an excuse. I think I don't mention that in some of the other videos too. That he sent me another beer mail as an excuse for the first one. Uh, with a where well, a bottle exploded and like there's a big black stain on the carpet down here now because of it. So that's an excuse he sent me three beers. Uh, the first one is this, the Brutal Barley Wine from Nunes Hans. Uh, I have no idea what vintage this is, uh, but it should be good. Uh, yeah, oh sorry, I know what vintage it is. This is a 2009 vintage, and uh, the Nunes Hans was one of the best. The breweries, in my opinion, of all the beers he sent me. Then I got another Nunes Hams, which I've actually had on tap, the Sotholmen uh, Extra Stout, which is a uh, foreign stout, which is quite nice. And he sent this very limited beer. Thanks, old man. This is the um, Carnegie Porter, special porter. Uh, Carnegie 75th uh, anniversary special porter. And now, this is a beer made by Carlsberg, actually. Uh, they make a beer called Carnegie Porter, specially made for uh, Sweden which is one that has been in for 175 years and Carlsberg doesn't only brew shitty pilsners, they have actually also helped keep porter traditions alive in, 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 really in Denmark during hard times where only lagers were sold, they've kept the Baltic porters now alive in Denmark and Sweden but uh, yeah, so this is a limited version of it uh, which is more alcohol, it's on 8 point something percent 8.8 aged in Heaven Hill bourbon cask and it's brewed in collaboration with Brooklyn Brewery. That's pr pretty cool, Brooklyn and Carlsberg, so I can't wait to try that. But uh, yeah, let's dig into the beer here. That's the uh, Dukas 1.5 Idiot, or Inhal Idiot. And uh, this Idiot is actually a series, Imperial Porter by the way, or Imperial Porter, Strong Porter, it's the style. It's a series they have Dukas, the Idiot. Um, and this is a half, they have the regular Idiot, which is an uh, Imperial Stout, and then they have the um, Perfect Idiot, which is also an Imperial Stout, but that was only released once back in 2010. But it's on 7%, which is kind of on the lower side for an Imperial, but whatever. And uh, yes, yeah, so it is a really powerful Imperial Porter with coffee notes and a taste of salt licorice. Mmm, nice. Selmiak licorice is what we called it in, call it in da Danish. I don't know if that's something you get in the States. But let's get it cracked open. Last beer here. Let's see if that's how it's going to be. The other ones here are Swedish too, but I'm not going to review them. Like, in whoa, series like this so fast. They're going to be reviewed later on. But let's get it poured into my Ama Boiku Snifter. Nice pour. Okay, so we got a port here. Pretty black color. I do get some whoa, <laughs> brownish, reddish notes at the bottom of the glass, but then that is fairly blackish. A nice one and a half finger beige, kind of not lightly tan looking head. Looks nice. Let's see all the aroma. Mmm, it's got some like lactose milky kind of presence to it. Mmm, that smells nice. I don't think there's lactose in here. And definitely salt lic salty licorice, or uh, salt licorice. It's got a like, saltiness and a lot of licorice, and kind of reminds me of salmiak licorice, which is a Danish. Some coffee notes, a lot of roast. Really smells like a porter. Lots and lots of roast. Chocolatey notes. Mm, little bit of uh, an alcohol note in the aroma, like a phenol character, but it's very faint. This smells really nice, actually. This smells like a winner, guys. Compared to the other beers, Swedish beers, maybe this is a lot better. We'll see. Cheers, guys. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. Wow, that mouthfeel is so silky. 
That's a really nice mouthfeel. I saved this for last because this should be one of the better ones he said. Um, but yeah, nice silky mouthfeel. Medium body. Alcohol you can't taste, but it's 7%, so that's a little bit easier to hide. Get a lot of coffee and roast with burnt notes in the back end there. Little bit of dark fruit. The licorice note is there, but that's not really in the salt, li salt licorice, semi licorice kind of way. More just licorice There's really that much of a salty character in the flavor, maybe just a smidge. Dark burnt caramel kind of notes, a little bit of an ashy note too. This is pretty tasty imperial water. I like that berry kind of dark fruity flavor there in the end. And solid bitterness from the roast and all. It's this is actually pretty tasty. And I like the chocolate is on the lighter side, but this is actually really tasty. Not the biggest, most complex porter I've imperial porter I've had. But it's certainly very good. I'm actually going to give this an 85. This is actually really good. It's a nice transition uh, from having a lot of like solid beers to good beers. Having something like this is quite nice. Um, I'd like to try the um, the other idiot beers, the idiot and perfect idiot, because uh, I'm suspecting that they were pretty tasty. So yeah, guys, an 85 for the Dugas in Hal Idiot or one half idiot. But guys, uh, let me know what you think of, it, think of it if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe. Also, thanks a lot to Johan for the beer. And yeah, remember to comment, subscribe, all the stuff. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I want to see you. Cheers, guys. And I want to see you in another beer review.